Good morning, friends. Good morning. <laughs> so we are starting off our day uh, walking from Saratoga Springs, where we're staying at our resort. Uh, we're taking the path over to, the, there's, a, there's a couple of walking paths. We're taking the walking path, uh, kind of the shortest distance from our room, <laughs> over to Disney Springs this morning. We're going to brunch. So you can see the balloon in the distance behind us. So we're just gonna show you what, the, what our view is like this morning. Hope you enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> there's an amphicar car going by. Day at Disney Springs. There goes an amphicar going for a stroll right by the boathouse. The boathouse at Disney Springs is a popular location for brunch on the weekends from 10 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. They have the captain's sing-along brunch from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. with where dueling pianos perform while you enjoy some wonderful brunch dishes and specialty cocktails. Right next to the boathouse are the dream boats where you can take a leisurely ride in an amphicar. car. These vintage cars drive on land and can cruise on the water. And you can take a captain guided 25 minute tour of the waterways at Disney Springs. Also next to the boathouse restaurant is the boutique, a nautical inspired gift shop where you can find clothing and accessories, bath and body products and other gifts and souvenirs. The Boathouse is a large restaurant with both indoor and outdoor seating with beautiful views of the water. They have nautical inspired theming and decor inside with a variety of seating including booths, tables, and bar seating. If you're lucky, you might even be seated inside one of their special booths inside of a boat. Their brunch menu includes a nice variety of options, including the shrimp and grits, a crab cake benedict, the lakeside breakfast, Belgian waffles, avocado toast, steak and eggs, and chicken biscuits and gravy. Kids options for little skippers include a half Belgian waffle or an egg any style served with bacon and home fries. You can also order other sides served a la carte, and brunch drink options include the Thermosa, Orange Crush, the Strawberry Splash, the Boater Sunrise, an espresso martini or the Boathouse Bloody Mary. This is on their brunch menu. We got here at 10 o'clock and uh, they run brunch in the mornings now on weekends. Uh, so this is the Copper Bear Pear Cider with white peach puree. So a little, little mimosa to start the morning. Ooh, that is lovely. You definitely get a little bit of pear and the kind of that peach, yeah, that peach flavor coming through. Oh, and nice and bubbly. That's awesome. I love, I really like that. It's nice and refreshing. We also have soft rolls here. These rolls are good. We've been here before and they're always great. Put that glaze on top. Warm, soft, buttery. Oh, they're delicious, yeah. Mm -hmm. The glaze on top is sweet. That's really good. Great rolls. <laughs> All right, what you got, Dave? So I got, they call it the Orange Crush. It said Stoli Orange. Salermo, orange juice, and a little bit of soda. Nice. Seems to be. Looks good. Tastes really strong, actually. <laughs> the Salerno. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Very good, though. Awesome. You got an orange on top too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Might need to give that a squeeze in there. <laughs> a steaming hot caffeinated beverage. <laughs> That's hot coffee. That is hot hot coffee. It's hot coffee, but it's good. 
<laughs> Very necessary in the morning. Oh uh, yes, yes, gotta get some coffee. Start our day before we have our nice breakfast. <laughs> It's nice in here. We made a reservation, but if you want to try to come brunch here, this is a Saturday, and it, it seems like you probably could get in if you needed to. But so far, I'm sure it fills up later. I mean, we got we got here right when they opened at ten, and so um, they do have the dual pianos going on today. So I'm coming over here and getting set up. So we've got entertainment with your meal. If you want to kind of you know kind of come early for brunch, it looks like they've got lots of seating. Um, it's a great great atmosphere, great location. So yeah. we've got. You right here by the windows, you can see the water. You can sit outside if you want to. Uh, we prefer to stay inside. It's hot this morning already, so we wanted to be inside. But yeah. Nice. yeah, we are right behind the piano. Big old cupcakes, coffee. Come here, little girl. I got the crab cakes benedict. This looks so good. It comes with asparagus. And these are twin crab cakes uh, served with prosciutto ham and then poached eggs on top. And then we've got an Old Bay Hollandaise sauce and then grilled asparagus. It looks really, really good. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it here, get the perfect bite. Oh, it's so gonna break this egg. Did you get that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. Get some asparagus too. Make a perfect bite here. Ooh, it's so flaky and soft. Mm. It's a little oh. different having asparagus with it, isn't it? It's really good. Mm. No, the asparagus kind of gives it a nice, like, earthy flavor. You know, to have, see, there's the prosciutto ham under there. I didn't get any of that, but you can see it right there underneath the egg. I need to get a little bit of that. Oh, but that egg is super rich. And with the crab, oh, it just gives it that. Oh, that luxurious, soft. Oh man, that's like melt in your mouth. Luxurious, like the crab cake is super soft and light. The prosciutto ham gives it that nice saltiness. And then the egg, just like you break the egg over the top and it just gives you that like, mm, that rich, rich flavor. No, and I, I didn't even get to the, <laughs> the good get, stuff. To, get to the good stuff in there, the hollandaise. <laughs> with the bite of the asparagus. The, the asparagus actually goes really well with it. Kind of need that. You need something to balance out all the rich flavors. Mm -hmm. It also gives you the crunch. Because everything else on the plate is very soft. The asparagus gives you that crunch factor too. Nice and crisp. Oh, that's delicious. That's delicious. I definitely recommend the crab cakes. <laughs> all right, Dave's going to dig in. Yep, so I got the avocado toast. Comes with the multi-grain multi bread. It's like a good amount of avocado. It's like a whole avocado on there. Yep. Tomatoes, feta, and a pickled red, red onion and arugula. Nice. Looks really good. Yeah, and you got you can pick two eggs anyway, uh, and then you picked them sunny side yeah, up. I, sunny I think side. that was a good choice. You're gonna have that nice runny egg yeah. to put over the top. I want a runny egg with mine. Yeah, and break over the avocado. Ooh. I will make I'll make avocado toast for Dave at home, but it's not near this fancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's perfect. It's so perfect. They give you, I think, I think I've had one where they give you this much avocado. Mm -hmm. This is this is great. That creaminess of the avocado. Yeah. Like the this. egg. Just, oh. I yeah, always, and the feta. I like the feta on there too. Yeah. I would give you that little bit of that tart. Do some different cheeses with it. Everybody does this a little differently. Well, this is one of the best ones I've had. Yeah, that's this awesome. Is delicious. And it looks like a nice, it's a good portion too. Yeah, this is plenty of food for me. Yeah. Pretty, very reasonable by Disney prices. Yeah. So were the cocktails too. We were impressed with yeah. cocktails. I that mean, was six and this was seven dollars. Yeah, and, and they're, they're, they're strong. <laughs> they're not dipping you. Yeah. Yeah, they're very good. Very good brunch here. Yeah, this Overall. is great. I highly recommend this for brunch. Yeah. No doubt. Awesome. No, we're going to dig in. <laughs>
we just finished up our brunch at the boathouse and wow that was that was such a fun experience definitely recommend it if you haven't been to the boathouse for brunch it is something that they do on weekends right now and they have the dueling piano bars and we got there we got the first reservation we called ahead just to make sure that they were still doing the brunch in the mornings and they start at 10 and it goes from 10 until all the way until two o'clock and we we got a t we arrived at 10 o'clock uh the dueling piano um, players they didn't uh, start playing until about 11. so depending on what you're wanting to do it is it is fairly loud we were seated right next to the, the piano players we loved that but if you want to be if you like a quieter brunch you might want to come at 10 uh, because they don't start playing for about an hour yeah. uh, we we enjoyed our, our our breakfast and then we were able to catch them at the tail end and enjoy them for a little while um, at the end of our brunch um, but it worked out really nicely um, yeah and it seems i make a reservation if you have if you're thinking ahead but if you didn't think ahead i think if you showed up at 10 or even 10 30 they'll probably let you in because it was, it was not even, you know, it wasn't real full until about 11 that yeah. it started really filling up. Yeah, 11 o'clock, it really started filling up in there. At 10, there was very few, very few tables yeah. taken, uh, even to 10.30. So if you maybe you have a good, a good, you know, happy medium, if you want to see the piano players, maybe get a 10.30 reservation or try to walk in at 10.30 and and get a and get a table uh so you can enjoy uh there's there's many rooms at the boathouse it's a very big restaurant so they have outdoor and indoor seating uh, the indoor seating they have multiple rooms uh dave kind of walked around and showed you guys a tour of that um so there's a bunch of rooms if you want to be near the piano players you probably want to make a reservation uh yeah, just so you can true. so you can request yeah. to be to be near the piano players um, but there's a really cool, if you have a larger party, there's a really cool boat in the center of the room that you can sit in. It's got a booth with, it's inside of a boat that's super cool. Um, what do you, what do you think of the food? Yeah. The food was excellent. It was so good. <laughs> and you know, we've been there for dinner before. Mm -hmm. We always been happy with the dinner. Yeah. But the, the brunch was, was fantastic. Yeah. And really reasonable prices, um, for what you're getting large meal, large portions. Um, Dave had avocado toast, but it was two like big pieces of avocado toast. Uh, with uh, an entire avocado on top of it. It was probably it. the most <laughs> filling avocado toast we've had and delicious. Mm -hmm. We kind of have our go-tos. I usually get the avocado toast. Mm -hmm. um, I always like the Eggs Benedict. Yeah. So when I saw they had crabs, crab Eggs Benedict, I was like, oh, I am all over that. <laughs> and it didn't disappoint. The, it was the, delicious. The crab cakes were were delicious, like lots of like really fresh crab. I mean, they're known for their seafood here. They have an oyster, a fresh oyster bar too. Uh, and he said that, and they're really known for having, you know, really good seafood. Um, they have aged beef as well. So if you come here for dinner, definitely recommend the steaks and the seafood. Um, we just, yeah, we were just here for brunch. So we enjoyed some of their brunch items. We'll share, we shared a copy of the menu as well. So you can see some of the options. They had some nice brunch drinks too. I was really yeah, impressed with Very the reasonable prices yeah. for Disney. I mean, yeah. I, lo I honestly looked at it, I was like, <laughs> he looked at is the this menu, a mocktail? Like, does this have alcohol right. in it? And it was like, he didn't think that they had alcohol in them because he's like, it, that's it didn't too show cheap. That it, had, it didn't help show that it had, you know, champagne in the mimosa. So mm -hmm. it was like, well, it's $6. <laughs> like, but it definitely did. Yeah. So I tried to, I tried two of the mimosas, both of the mimosas that they had. And they had, a, they had a, like four or five different drinks yeah. you could get off the brunch menu. They have a large drink menu otherwise on the regular menu. But we were just sorting off the brunch menu. And I did the pear mosa, and that one was really nice and refreshing. Uh, pear cider uh, with with a, uh, I think it was like a pear, pear puree. Yeah, with a puree bottom, inside yeah. of it, and it kind of sinks to the bottom, so you kind of mix it in and kind of stir it as you're drinking it, and it was really nice. And then we tried the strawberry splash. I actually liked that one even better. Uh, it had a nice strawberry uh, taste to it, a little bit of hint of mint, um, and then just that, that puree. And again, it was that that puree in the bottom, that peach puree it was delicious. I loved it. You kind of got to mix it in. Um, that makes your makes makes just very refreshing and enjoyable drink. So uh, we loved 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 the food, loved the drinks. The piano players were fantastic. Uh, they're they're the the theme piano players from Jelly Rolls that's over on the Disney Boardwalk. Um, Jelly Rolls is closed right now, so I'm so glad that they brought them over here to the yeah. boathouse to to bring that entertainment to the guests there. It's they're great. It's kind of, it's somewhat of an advantage because I'm pretty sure Jelly Rolls like you know, they have a cover charge. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a you know probably tough to get in there in the normal times yeah and it's the same piano bar experience you can go in there you can request produce any any song that you can think of that's <laughs> if it's somewhat popular they're gonna know it they're, they're gonna, gonna know it or try yeah. it for you there was one uh so one of the guests while we were there requested a more like a, a lesser known like james taylor song and they're like 
we they didn't know it but they were like but we'll try we'll try another james taylor song for you or we'll try to do it for you yeah. and they did it they, they pulled it off pretty well i thought i mean i couldn't tell that they didn't know it so. <laughs> yeah i mean the bottom line is they're really talented piano players yeah. so you can see them they're out there on their like their ipad pulling up the the mm -hmm. sheet music yeah and you know, their, their piano skills are impressive. Yeah, That's and they the roll line. from one song into the next and they're taking requests. They take requests online as well as um, the sheets you can write down to put where your requests in. We requested an Elton John song that I'm still standing. Yeah. Um, they did, I think we got some footage of that for you guys to, to share. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was, that's one of, we love, like, we just, we love piano bars so whenever we can come across them. So that was, we really enjoyed just sitting and enjoying, yeah. enjoying the piano Any music. Elton John song, they probably, <laughs> they know the whole catalog. I'm sure they do. <laughs> That's a win-win that's a for sure. They always know the Elton John songs, but yeah, we, we loved it. Couldn't recommend it any higher. If you're here on the weekend, uh, you want to enjoy a nice brunch, great food, uh, and an entertainment to go with it. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed uh, enjoyed this review of the Boathouse. We enjoyed, we enjoyed our <laughs> making this video, uh, and hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys.